Hey everyone, Ken Sagendorf here today. Um, today I want to talk to you a little bit about your side widgets or um, your sidebar. And uh, there's been a few questions about there about you know how how they look and keeping them lined up and uh, making them look uh, kind of professional. And uh, there's a couple different ways we can do this. And what I want to do is I want to use my uh, wealthy affiliate banners. I want to show you how to do this because. Um, a few people asked, you know, they, they had their, they followed one of my trainings not too long ago on uh, how to put the uh, HTML codes in and how to create the sidebars and how to do things like that. But what I want to do is um, have you neaten them up a little bit, okay? So what I first want to do is I want to take two of my wealthy affiliate banners and I want to put them over here on the right side of my About Me page or about Ken page, whatever however you want to say it, but it's a, the about me page. And I want to put them two over here on the right hand side. But I'm going to do I'm going to do two of them, two different kinds, that way I can show you a few other things and you'll understand that in a minute exactly what I'm talking about. The two sidebar you know, banners that I want to talk to you about and try to adjust them are down here a little ways. If you go down and look at your uh, wealthy affiliate different banners here, I want to take this one here First of all, it's uh, 250 pixels wide by 250 pixels tall. So what we're going to do is we want to copy this code right underneath here, your HTML code, and just copy that. And what we want to do with it, we want to use it as our as a sidebar widget over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go either into our dashboard under widgets. And as you see, I already put two things here to kind of shorten up time a little bit where it says sidebar and I put two text um, uh, widgets in here and if you want to go down that your text is down here all you do is just pull it up here and drag it up here and drag it up to where you want it okay that's pretty easy that's a whole nother training but <clears throat> that code we just did I'm gonna put it right here on the top one and all I do is paste that code that I just put in there okay here's the code Here's the size of it and everything. And then make sure you click Save. I'm going to close that up. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to label this so we can... It's our 250 by 250. Just so that we know which one it is. Not that it's going to be too hard to understand in a minute, but you'll understand. You'll see. And if we go into my website... Go back to the website, and here it is. It's right here. There's the 250 by 250. You see how it's kind of a little out of line here? This is something we're going to fix in a couple minutes, but I want to show you how to do that also with another one that we've got down here. This one right here. We want to take this. This is 160 by 600. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to copy this code, and we're going to put it over here onto our widgets. And we're going to make this the other one, okay? What did we say it was? 160 by 600, okay? So that's 160 by 600, okay? And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to save that. Let's close it. So here's our two widgets. And then if we go to our website, you look... Did I save that? I must not have saved it. Uh, let, me, let me go back there and save that again. Yeah, see, I didn't save it. So I pasted that code right there, just like we did it with the first one. My mistake. Sorry about that. Um, I'm trying to trying to get through this really quick without boring you with a very long video. But that's how we do that. Copy and paste that code. Save it. Go over to our website. And we're going to take a look at the, both of these. And you see how they kind of look off-centered? kind of look uh, kind of odd. And I want to show you how you can fix that. Let's first, let's start with the 250 by 250 first. Okay? What we're going to do is we're not going to go into our widgets. What we're going to do is we're going to go into our dashboard over here. And you can either use paste or, po or uh, posts or pages. I like to use pages and create a new page. Okay? And we're going to take that same code we just used with the little kid here. The 250 by 250. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to put this as my page. I'm going to put 250 by 250. Okay. I want to make sure that over here <clears throat> on my editor, 
I'm in the visual mode. Okay? Make sure you, excuse me, make sure you're in the text mode. My mistake. Make sure you're in the text mode. And when you're in the text mode, paste that code. You see how this code all comes up here, right here for you? All right, that looks that looks fine. When you go into the visual, you see there's the little kid right here, and you want to change your alignment on this. You got your two alignments or your three alignments, either right, center, or left. If you put it push center, you see that it moves it over to the center. Now what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the text and you're going to look at your code. There was a change in your code right here where it says class equals alignment center. That's gonna uh, what that does. That that part of the code is actually gonna change that so that your your banner is gonna be in the center of your sidebar. Okay, if you want it on the left, like it is, it's you put alignment left or right. It's alignment right. It's it's that simple. Okay, but we want it on the center, so we're gonna copy that entire code just the way it is. We're gonna copy that, and then we're gonna go back to our widgets. Now, if we want, we can save this. Save, this, save it as a draft because you don't want to publish it because then it'll end up either on your front page or something like that. But just save it as a draft and go over to your widgets. Now we're going over to our 250 by 250 widget now, remember. Now you see, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, underneath this one here, I'm going to paste the one we just copied off of the one we just created. Okay? And you're going to see what I mean by the difference now. Now you see the difference here was this is image class equals, okay? Class equals center alignment. This one here just says in image script. Okay, it doesn't give you that class alignment center. Okay, now this is the top code. That's the first one we copied. It doesn't align it for you. What we did is we just added that. That's all we did. Okay, so you can either type it in as an HTML code or do it just the way I just did it. Just copying it, paste it, moving it around a little bit. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna save that. Now if I go to my website. Look at the two di the difference in the two. It got a little bit bigger and aligned it into the center. You see how much better that looks. This is the this top one is the one we when we first we first put in here. This bottom one is the one we just created. You see the difference in the two. I, I mean, it kind of looks it looks a lot better by being aligned in the center. It takes up a little bit more room. Okay. Now we're talking about this. That's how you do that. The 250 by 250 kind of looks a little bit better, looks a little bit cleaner, a little a little bit more professional. Now the six, but the 160 by 600, that's going to be a little different. And we're going to go back over. and We're going to take that same code and do almost the same process. We're going to copy that code. We're going to go into our dashboard as we did with the 250 by 250, and we're going to create a page, another new page. And we're going to do this. This is going to be our 160 by 600. And again, make sure we're in our text mode, and we're going to paste that code that we just copied right here. Now you see where it says image. Okay, that's what we were talking about a little while ago. You want that to say what do what do we want that to say? Right, you want it to say class equals alignment center. So. Instead of typing it in, all you go to is to the visual. You notice it's way over here. You highlight it, and you slide it on over. It's really that simple. Now, if we look at the code, you see what the code did? Exactly what we were just talking about. Class equals, and make sure you got it in quotations, alignment center. Okay. Again, we're going to save that, and if you, want it, if you want it center, if you want it right, you want it left, Feel free to put it either side if you want. We'll copy that code. Quick, simple, just copy that code. And now let's go back to our widgets where that 160 by 600 was. Here's our 160 by 600. Now, you see, it doesn't give you that class. Okay? So we're going to put that one, again, like we did with the 250 by 250. And we're going to paste it right underneath here. Okay, and let's give ourselves a little room here so there's a little bit of space so we can see the difference. Okay, and make sure we save that. Now once it's saved, if we go to our website, look at, there's the first one we put in. 
160 by 600. Now look at, see how it moved over? Because we aligned it into the center. Okay. I know there's not a lot of text here, but if, well, if I'll do this, I'm going to get rid of this uh, 250 by 250 here, just so you can get an idea of how the uh, other one looks. I'll just I'll just take the 250 by 250 and move it down. So I'll put the put the other one up on top, so you can see how how the difference it looks. Now you see you look at if you're reading along here, and this widget is 160 by 600. If you like that one there, you notice how it's kind of pushed over to that to the left side, kind of crowding in with your with your post. And you see how the other one is kind of centered. Kind of looks makes it look a bit a little bit cleaner. Again, we're going to go to our widgets, and I'm going to move it around again a little bit. And if we remember the two codes, here's the top code. This is the first one we, we copied. Let's cut that out of there. Completely cut it out of there. And the only code we're going to have left is the one we just created. See? Because here it says, class equals, and in quotation, alignment center, and then save that. We'll take a look at over here at our website and let's see how now look at how much neater that looks it's not pushed over to one side like see the 250 is pushed over to one side it's kind of right in the center of your of your sidebar looks a little neater looks a little bit professional okay if you have any questions feel free to, to PM me or contact me you know one way or another and uh, I'll try to do what I can to help you out but that's Pretty the pretty simple way of doing that and moving your uh, wealthy affiliate banners, you know, from being off to one side so that they're in the center of your uh, sidebar. Now, some people like to take and just take the text and just copy the text in, and that's why it ends up either all the way over to the left. The thing is, what we just did is we created a whole nother HTML code which actually put it right into the center of our sidebar. Makes it look a little nicer, makes it a little bit more professional. And all we did was add that one section after the IMG. Okay, we'll go back, I'll show it to you again, just so that you understand it. What we did is we created this part here, right after where it says IMG, we created the alignment equals, you know, the class equals, and in quotation marks, alignment center. Now, if I take this and I change it says, where it says center, I make that say left. LEFT, and then I save it. What do you think just happened? You're right. You're absolutely right. See how it moved over to the left? I could do the same thing if I do the widget. We're, we're, I'm using this one here because it seems to be easier to, for people to understand it. And if I change that to right, R I G H T, what do you think happened to it? Make sure you save it. And you're 100% right. See that? It moved right over to the right-hand side. Okay? It's really that simple. All you need to do is just learn how to read a little bit of that HTML code. It's not that hard. And, again, I personally prefer them in the center. But don't, don't take out the quotation marks, okay? Because that's where you end up with problems. And we want it in the center. Okay? Save it. Again, it should be all saved. It looks like it's exactly what we wanted, right in the center. So, you know, that's that's my training for today. I hope that helped you, you know, neatening up your sidebars a little bit, you know, putting your uh, wealthy affiliate banners a little bit more in the center of your sidebar so it doesn't like this, doesn't look off to one side or the other. This way here it's centered. You know, it makes things a little bit neater. Again, my name's Ken. I hope I helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free comment below and I'll see if I can help you out and take a look at your website. If you have any questions about your website, the look of your website, you want to change something, feel free, give me a call, you know, or give me a, a comment below and tell me, you know, what your website is and tell, tell me, you know, what you want me to look at if there's a problem and uh, I'll see if I can work it out with you, okay?